Welcome to the Wine Showcase. I'm John. And I'm Steve. You know, we've been taking you all around California with some great, great value wines. And this time around, John, we're going to be going across the pond. Oh, like um, Spain? Not Spain. Uh, how about France? Not France. Portugal? Getting close. Ah, uh, no way. Italy. Italy, you're right. That's where we're going. We are going to go to the northernmost part of Italy for the 2010. It is the Cantina Casteggio Barbera. I like saying it too. So Barbera is pretty much a dark skin varietal that they have in Italy, and it's Italy's third most popular grape. Uh, Italian wine, you know, I, I think when you, when you get one of these, you have to go to, you know, a, a specialty shop that, you know, imports wine. So I can't see the price point being, you know, like, like really, really expensive. Low. Or no, no, I can see it definitely being really expensive. I just yeah. can't see the price point being really low with, you know, all the export costs and... You know, well, that's true. I mean, that's one of the things that a lot of people think about is that going over the pond is going to be very expensive, but really it's not. So you could buy this wine actually for $8.99 anywhere around the area here. In fact, that's as low as I found it. No way, $8.99 is like some of the California wines we tried or, or in that price point, I can't even see, you know, and that's like local stuff, you know, that we can get our hands on easily. Whereas this one, I mean, I would think there'd be a lot of costs, of, you know, above and beyond. So that's pretty, pretty You would amazing, think, man. you would think, but you know something? Here's the thing is that, yeah, okay, for the price point that it is, it's, it's it, it might be uh, good, it might be okay. That's why we're here to try these wines. It might be bad. It we'll might be, be honest bad. here. We never know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. And a little bit of history about Italian wine, which maybe you didn't know about, and that is, is that Italians have been drinking wines for over centuries, when you think about it, a long, long time. And they drink it every day. So with their meals, lunch, dinner, they have glasses of wine. Oh, no way. How, how would you know about this? Have you, have you been to Italy? I've been to Italy, yeah. Oh, cool. And it's a lot of wine to drink, you would think, huh? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if they're doing it for lunch and dinner and in between too, maybe, huh? That's what happened with me when I went to an Italian trip to the Piedmonte region, as a matter of fact. We had a wine and culinary trip that we yeah. took for a week. And not only did we have the wines during dinner or lunch, but in between, we were at wineries and we drank so much wine. So you were drinking at lunch and then in between and at dinner, you must have been sauced. <laughs> I'll be honest, yes I was. <laughs> but here's the interesting thing, is that even though I was sauced, the next morning I woke up, no hangover. What? So there must be, um, in the wine, they must uh, have no sulfide, so maybe the low alcohol content? Wow, John, you win! So oh, we get okay. you a brand new bottle here, yeah. and you get to take this one home. Oh, thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> but no, he's correct. And that's it. No sulfites. And I tell you, this is going to be a great wine to try. And why don't we go ahead and pour this? And that let's sounds see this all great. Done. All right, let's see what we get when we uh, taste this. Or actually, we'll start with the nose. Yeah, let's start with the nose. I don't want to taste it right away. So. Sure. I'm a little anxious here. So here we go. Hmm. What are you smelling there? You know, believe it or not, I mean, maybe it's there, maybe it's not. But I'm, I'm getting kind of like a, I'm getting like a like a bouquet, like roses. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. The other thing. I don't know if you ever smelled green olives or not, but if you have, yes. did you get that scent that's You know what? There? Now that you mention that. It's there. Yeah, I, it? I can get, yeah, it's definitely, yeah, I can get an olive, an olive, olive oil type, type almost smell. But, but like, yeah, like a green, almost like a, like a, um, what do you say, like yeah, a martini, martini olive. kind of olive. That's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Interesting. So. Tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and taste this right now. Let's see what it's all about. Sure. Let's see if it's worth this $8.99, okay? All right. Here we go. John, it's not, go it's not bad. It's not bad, huh? Yeah, shoot, $8.99 too. Um, it's, it's just really fresh. Yeah, yeah. It, it's medium body. 
Mm -hmm. And um, there's a lot of mineral taste in there, and that's what yeah. you're gonna find with the Italian wines. And, and the finish, it's it's not it's not too short, not too long. Mm -hmm. About maybe maybe lingers there for three to five seconds, and then it's just kind of like has a nice fresh kind of aftertaste. All right. So let me ask you this: Would you recommend this wine to your friends? I would recommend this wine to my friends. You would? Yes. Okay. So how about you, Steve? What, what's your take on this wine? Well, I would recommend it. Um, I find that I'll be honest with you, John. I had a bottle of this uh, last week, and this is our second bottle that we bought. And I found that <laughs> I didn't like it before oh, no way. because the bottle was corked, unfortunately. Oh, sorry to hear about yeah, that. Yeah, so I dumped it down the drain. But I wasn't expecting this, uh, and it turned out very well, really well. Um, oh, nice. It's very smooth, and I like it a lot. I mean, All right, well, that pretty much wraps it up for the wine showcase this time around. I'm Steve. I'm John. And we will see you next time. So until then, cheers. cheers.